Hello, reptile enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, the differences between male and female iguanas. If you're a proud iguana owner or considering bringing one into your life, this video is a must watch. So, let's jump right in. Male versus female iguanas, the age old question for reptile enthusiasts. How do you distinguish between the two? Stick around and we'll break down the five key differences that set them apart. But first, a quick heads up, you'll need to wait until your iguana reaches sexual maturity for a definitive answer. Green iguanas, the most common pet species, mature between one and four years of age. Look out for these distinct characteristics to tell the difference between iguana males versus females. Male iguanas are much bigger and heavier, whereas female iguanas are lighter and generally smaller than males. Male iguanas have huge jowls and a pronounced dewlap, whereas females have small jowls and a barely present dewlap. Male iguanas have large femoral pores and hemipenal bulges, whereas female iguanas do not have enlarged femoral pores or hemipenes. Male iguanas do not lay eggs, whereas female iguanas will lay eggs even if they have not made it. Male iguanas have large dorsal and vertebral spines, whereas female spikes are much smaller and less pronounced. If you're wondering whether you should adopt a male or female iguana, neither sex is significantly better or worse to own in terms of temperament or ability. Whether you should have a male or a female iguana will mostly come down to the amount of space you have available and how many other iguanas you have. Both sexes need a lot of space so bear that in mind before adopting one. Males are much larger than females and will require a larger enclosure. The entire enclosure will need to be higher, longer, and wider to house a male. However, females will need to have a burrowing box or section of their enclosure which they can dig in and not be able to escape. It is important to know how to tell the difference between male and female iguanas so you can prepare your Iggy's enclosure appropriately for the future. Watch on to find out exactly how to tell the difference between male and female iguanas. Curious about the sex of your iguana? We've got the scoop on how to sex your scaly friend. From overall size and growth rates to head shape, bumps, dewlaps, and jowls. We'll guide you through the process. Get ready to become an expert in iguana anatomy. Male iguanas have certain features and physical traits which make them easy to identify against a female iguana. Remember that these physical characteristics will only become apparent once your pet iguana has reached sexual maturity. Male iguanas can get up to 8 feet in length and can weigh over 20 pounds. However, female iguanas will rarely exceed 6 feet in length and typically max out at around 6 to 10 pounds. Both male and female iguanas are very large lizards so they are not a good choice for beginner reptile owners. The first difference you'll probably notice is that males have much broader and heavier bodies with thicker, more powerful tails. Females, on the other hand, have much slimmer, narrower bodies and have thinner, more whip-like tails. In addition to this, male iguanas have very broad and powerful chests, which means they also stand taller than the females. Below is an approximate growth chart for male and female iguanas. You can see that during their early years, male and female growth is pretty much the same. During their first couple of years of life, they are not yet fully sexually mature, which means the more obvious size and feature differences have not yet appeared. Keep in mind that the lengths listed are measured from the iguana snout to tail tip. Green iguanas, scientifically known as iguana iguana, are fascinating reptiles that captivate enthusiasts with their vibrant colors and unique features. As these creatures mature, they undergo significant changes in size and appearance, with distinct differences between males and females. Now let's talk about male iguana growth rate. The growth rate of male green iguanas is a captivating journey that spans several years. Let's delve into the details. Hatchlings, zero years, these tiny beings weigh around 0.2 pounds and measure between six to nine inches. Their initial enclosure, sized at nine inches height, five inches weight, 14 inches length, provides a secure environment for their early stages. One year, as they enter their first year, male iguanas experienced substantial growth, reaching a weight of one to 1.15 pounds and a length of 20 to 27 inches. A larger enclosure of 27 inches height, 14 inches weight, 41 inches length accommodates their increased size. Two years, by the second year, males can weigh between 2 to 4 pounds, with a length ranging from 28 to 36 inches. A spacious enclosure of 36 inches height, 18 inches weight, 54 inches length allows them room for exploration and development. Three years, the growth continues, 
With males reaching a weight of 4 to 6 pounds and a length of 30 to 42 inches, the enclosure expands accordingly to 42 inches height 21 inches weight 63 inches length. For years, at this stage, males can weigh between 5 to 8 pounds, measuring 35 to 48 inches. The recommended enclosure size is 48 inches height 24 inches weight 72 inches length. Five years, a significant leap occurs, with males now weighing 10 to 15 pounds and measuring 45 to 60 inches. They require a spacious enclosure of 60 inches height 30 inches weight 90 inches length to thrive. Six years, the growth rate continues, with males reaching 14 to 18 pounds and 50 to 66 inches in length. A roomy enclosure measuring 66 inches height 33 inches weight 99 inches length ensures their comfort. 7 plus years, mature males, at 7 years and beyond, can weigh 15 to 20 plus pounds and measure 60 to 72 plus inches. An expansive enclosure of 72 inches height 36 inches weight 108 inches length provides ample space for their majestic presence. Once male green iguanas reach sexual maturity, the differences in size become even more pronounced. Let's talk about female iguana growth rate. Female green iguanas follow a growth trajectory similar to their male counterparts, with a few nuanced differences. Hatchlings, zero years these tiny beings weigh around 0.2 pounds and measure between 6 to 9 inches. Their initial enclosure, sized at 9 inches height 5 inches weight 14 inches length, provides a secure environment for their early stages. One year, as they enter their first year, female iguanas experience substantial growth, reaching a weight of 1 to 1.15 pounds and a length of 20 to 27 inches. A larger enclosure of 27 inches height 14 inches weight 41 inches length accommodates their increased size. Two years, by the second year, females can weigh between 2 to 4 pounds, with a length ranging from 28 to 36 inches. A spacious enclosure of 36 inches height 18 inches weight 54 inches length allows them room for exploration and development. Three years, females reach a weight of 4 to 4, 5 pounds, with a length of 30 to 42 inches. Their enclosure expands to 42 inches height 21 inches weight 63 inches length. For years, continuing their growth, females maintain a weight of 4 to 4, 5 pounds, with a length of 35 to 48 inches. The recommended enclosure size is 48 inches height 24 inches weight 72 inches length. 5 years, females now weigh 4.5 to 5 pounds and measure 45 to 50 inches. A spacious enclosure of 60 inches height 30 inches weight 90 inches length inches accommodates their needs. 6 years, growth persists, with females reaching 5 to 5.5 pounds and measuring 50 to 55 inches. The enclosure size remains at 60 inches height 30 inches weight 90 inches length. 7 plus years, mature females, at 7 years and beyond, can weigh 5.5 to 6 pounds and measure 55 to 60 inches. The recommended enclosure size remains at 60 inches height 30 inches weight 90 inches length. Aside from their weight and length, male and female green iguanas have several differences when it comes to the shape and size of their heads. Below I've listed the most obvious differences between the two sexes. Male iguanas have small bumps on top of their heads just behind their eyes. These bumps become more pronounced the older the iguana gets. These bumps are missing on female iguanas. The lack of these bumps makes the female iguana's head look much slimmer and smoother than those of the males. Male iguanas have very large dewlaps under their chins. These prominent dewlaps are large flaps of skin that are meant to look scary and impressive and set alpha males apart from the rest. Male iguanas with larger dewlaps typically attract more females during mating season. Female iguanas, on the other hand, have very small dewlaps. Sometimes, these dewlaps are not even present, particularly on very small or young females. Male iguanas have very powerful jaws. Their jaws get their power from the incredibly large muscles on either side of their face. These very large muscles make it look like the males have huge, bulging jowls. On the other hand, females do not have facial muscles that are quite as large as the males. This also means their jowls are not nearly as large and that a female Iggy's bite will not be as painful or damaging as a male's. Both male and female iguanas have enlarged disc-like scales on either side of their heads. Male iguanas' discs are typically much larger than the females and will be darker in color or have a green, almost black ring around them. 
Female iguanas also have these enlarged disc-like scales on either side of their heads. However, these discs are smaller and not deeply colored or ringed in a dark green slash black color. Another key difference between males and females is the size of their spikes. Male adult iguanas have elongated dorsal spikes that run along their spines. These spikes will start at the tip of their tail and run all the way up to their heads. Males will have smaller spikes along their chins. 2. A male iggy's spines are very tough, long, and distinct. Female iguanas do have dorsal spines that run along their spines. However, these spikes are much smaller than the male's ones. In general, they are shorter, thinner, and softer. The female spikes run from the tip of their tails to the base of their necks. Females do not typically have spikes on the tops of their heads. They do, however, occasionally have short spikes under their chins. Juvenile iguanas will have soft dorsal spines from a very young age, so using their spikes to determine sex is not reliable until they are about three to four years old. Another key difference between sexually mature male and female iguanas is their genitals. Below are the two main differences that become apparent once a green iguana reaches adulthood. Male iguanas have distinct femoral pores. These look like large, pale scales on the inside of their thighs on their hind limbs. The femoral pores enlarge during mating season and secrete a waxy substance that contains pheromones that attract potential female mates. Female iguanas, as you'd imagine, do not have pronounced femoral pores. This is simply because they do not have a need for them. When looking at the hind legs of a sexually mature iguana, it is very easy to see the difference between males and females. At the base of a male iguana's tail where it meets the lizard's body, there are two distinct bulges. These bulges contain the hemipenes. As a reptile with a tail, iguanas have two penises to facilitate sexual reproduction. Females do not have these bulges because they do not have hemipenes. Do not probe the cloaca to determine the sex as you would a snake. If you are not an expert at expressing an iguana's hemipenes, you can severely injure your animal and stress them out significantly. However, if you want or need to know what sex your iguana is before they are sexually mature and the seller is unable to tell you, then take your iguana to an exotic veterinarian to get them to determine the sex. Another fairly obvious difference between male and female iguanas is that females lay eggs. Male iguanas do not lay eggs at all. If your iguana suddenly lays an egg or two, you can be assured it is a female. Notably, female iguanas will occasionally develop and lay eggs without ever coming into contact with a male. This is just part of their natural cycle. They will also exhibit burrowing and nesting behavior during laying times and breeding season. This means that, in terms of husbandry, females will need a section of their enclosure that is safe to dig in. It is also worth mentioning that developing and laying eggs uses up a huge amount of energy. Female iguanas will use their energy reserves to produce eggs over maintaining their own bodies. This is one reason why females do not always live as long as males. All iguanas need a calcium-rich diet, but female iguanas will need a larger amount of calcium in their diet to ward off metabolic bone disease. This is particularly important during the laying season. During this time, it's a good idea to add a pinch of powdered calcium to your adult female iguana's meals to boost her calcium intake. Male iguanas may also benefit from calcium supplements depending on their diet. If you're unsure how much to give them, check with your local reptile vet. Now, let's talk about sex-specific health problems. Green iguanas are wonderful animals, but they are not great beginner lizards. They require huge enclosures, and they are also susceptible to certain health problems. Male and female iguanas can both suffer from malnutrition, a lack of UVB lighting, vitamin D absorption, and metabolic bone disease. These are all things that can be rectified through their diet and an adjustment of their enclosure settings. In addition, both male and female iguanas can suffer from internal and external parasites. This is usually the case when your iguana is wild-caught or is farm-raised. A simple trip to the vet can help rectify parasite problems. There is, however, one health condition that only affects female iguanas and not males, that is becoming egg-bound, also known as dystocia. If for some reason a female is unable to lay an egg, it will become stuck inside of her. Being egg-bound is incredibly painful for an iguana. It can lead to decreased fertility in the future and even death if not treated promptly. Iguanas affected by dystocia need urgent vet attention to resolve the problem. A female iguana becoming egg-bound is very rare. However, if it does happen, it is usually because something is wrong with her care. For example, 
She might be dehydrated or too cold, not have enough space to exercise and move, or not have a proper nesting box. Be sure to follow your reptile vet's instructions in order to solve the issue. In mild cases, fixing what is wrong with the husbandry will resolve the problem very quickly. In more severe cases, the female iguana will need to undergo surgery to get the stuck egg removed. Now we will talk about equipment for males versus females iguanas. As we've discussed, there are a lot of similarities between looking after male and female iguanas. However, there are a few differences that are important to note when it comes to equipment. Here's a reminder of the setup you need for male and female iguanas to make sure they are happy and healthy. 1. Enclosure Size Male iguana provide an enclosure of up to 6 foot x 9 feet, depending on the size of the iguana. Female iguana opt for a slightly smaller space, up to 5 foot x 7 feet, adjusted based on the individual's size. 2. Enclosure Setup Both genders benefit from a well-equipped habitat, including a 5. Zero UV bulb for essential ultraviolet light. Install a heat emitting bulb or heat mat to maintain the optimal temperature. Integrate foliage, vines, and climbing branches to simulate their natural environment. Offer a food bowl and a large water bowl for hydration. Additionally, female iguanas require a burrowing box during the laying season to cater to their nesting instincts. 3. Diet. A balanced and varied diet is crucial for both male and female iguanas. Emphasize dark green leafy vegetables as the primary food source. Include a small amount of fruit for added nutrients. Ensure a fresh water source is readily available at all times. Females, especially during the laying season, benefit from a calcium supplement to support egg development. 4. General health tips. Regularly monitor your iguana for signs of stress, illness, or abnormal behavior. Schedule periodic veterinary checkups to ensure their overall health. Keep the enclosure clean and well-maintained to prevent the spread of diseases. 5. Behavioral Observations Be mindful of your iguana's behavior, as it can indicate their mood, health, and comfort level. Males may exhibit territorial behaviors, while females may display nesting instincts during the breeding season. Now it's time for conclusion on sexing iguanas. As we wrap up, the big question remains, which sex is better to own? The truth is, both males and females can be wonderful companions with proper care. We've covered the differences in temperament, enclosure requirements, and health considerations. Remember, iguanas are incredible reptiles, but they're not for everyone. Respect their size and needs, and you'll have a scaly friend for years to come. Thank you for joining us today on this exploration of male versus female iguanas. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more reptile insights. Until next time, keep those scales healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.